intercontinental champion, I was honored to hold the title with such a vast legacy of greatness. I was excited to face new challengers as the landscape was evolving. A brash newcomer named Dolph Ziggler thought he had me figured out and brushed me to the side. My point of view of Dolph Ziggler coming in, I had the utmost respect for him. He was very exciting to watch. He had a style, but with a new spike to it, a new feel to it. I knew Dolph was hungry coming into this match, and he was one of the up-and-coming superstars. But there's a mistake that he made that you never make in this business. Dolph felt like he was already the Intercontinental Champion before our match had even started. So I made sure to teach him a very valuable lesson at the biggest party of the summer. At SummerSlam, Dolph's arrogance was going to be his downfall if I had my way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more WWE 2K22. My name is Raven from the Sky, and let's do this. <laughs> yeah, got to do it up big at SummerSlam. No problem. I'm defending my championship, you know? That meant some more high-risk Lucha Libre 2. Oh, I missed. He was throwing his tantrum. Can't do that when you're against me. Yeah. 
six, one, nine. Get off the ropes. What the heck? Show was in a kind of champion right there. Next. That bragging rights for the world heavyweight title was every man for himself. I would have thought that Batista would have known that walking into that match. Right. I'm gonna rip your head off. I'm no stranger to betrayal. Throughout my career, I had people that I thought were friends end up turning their backs on me. But this one, for some reason, it hit a very soft spot. I couldn't make sense of what had gone down. You're supposed to be my friend! If I would have known that this was going to interfere in our friendship, I would have never have done what I did. We had gone through so much together, and I just couldn't believe how quickly he could throw that all away. I'm not thinking about what we've been through. I'm not thinking about you. I'm thinking about me. After weeks of verbal and physical assaults, I knew that we could never go back to the way things were. I wanted to make him feel the same way I did, to return that feeling to him. And the best way I could think to do that was to beat him on SmackDown and get the number one contender spot that Batista felt belonged to him. Batista's game plan from the get-go was gonna be to manhandle me. So I just looked to use the momentum to my favor. I mean, my hope was to be wherever his fists and boots were not. Uh-huh. And then before I knew it, I was in the worst. It wouldn't be the last time we compete, but it's one of my favorite matches, even if it didn't go my way that night. All right, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and the series grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.